Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It tastes like yellow. I'm in New York City right now, my favorite city. Well, one of my favorite cities. I'm also eating at my favorite restaurant. My number one favorite place in the whole entire world is called Kung Fu Kitchen. Now they have the absolute best Shaolong Bao or soup dumplings. I have traveled all over the world. I've even gone all throughout Asia and tried to find the best soup dumplings and no one really ever compares to these bad boys. Something in their broth, um, the way they cook their dough, it's just so delicious. And you guys are also gonna have to excuse my super formal and cheesy um, setup here. I know it's super basic, but I gotta make do with what we have. And also trying to utilize some of this natural light outside. Super hot. So like right now I'm posting kind of on a delay because my computer at home is broken. It's really crappy. I had to send it off to the geek squad to fix and hopefully they'll get it back really soon. There was like some sort of like hardware malfunction. It was like really frustrating because they would just, it, my computer, my laptop is a really great gaming laptop. I paid a lot of money for it and something about it was overheating and it was like burning me. So that's like not good. So I'm not gonna eat, well maybe I'll eat as many as I can. Let me see if I can set this up a little bit better. All right, so I just threw them all down on the table. Yes, it's super clean. I made sure I got some of my favorite cucumbers here. Here's the vinegar sauce. It's just like a really basic quick meal because it's my favorite restaurant first off. I'm hungry. I'm trying not to overheat though because like right now we're in the middle of the heat wave. But of course by the time I post this, it will be probably like a week or two from now. Mm. Like whenever I get my laptop back, I can actually edit. The cucumbers are so delicious. Oh my god, I dropped it, but it landed in my lap. It's still good, it's like the five second roll. Mm. We like to um, drink out, I don't know if I can focus on that. I like to drink out the soup and then like take the big bite. So good. You know what I've always wanted to do though? It's one of those challenges where I could just eat like a ton of these. Now these ones are a lot bigger and I've seen the guys, like the Try Guys or whatever do it on like the 100 Dumpling Challenge. Uh, I think they go to Din Feng Thai. It's in Los Angeles. But those little buns, it comes 10 to an order. They're really small. So like if this, it's maybe just a portion of this. So of course they're a lot smaller. Of course they can eat them a lot better. Or a lot more of them. But I want to do that. My dumplings aren't as like hot and gooey as they normally would be because they ordered it to go. And then the guy got lost trying to get into the building. Just one kind of big headache. But we did try one the other day. A new one. Oh my gosh, look at that. I've never really been on top of one. Can you see that? Um, called Joe's Shanghai. It was downtown, kind of like near Chinatown in New York. It's not as good. It was way too doughy. I mean, the meat and the soup was all right. Mm. 
and we ate it. But it's just not as good because like the point is to have the soup and like the meat with just like the right proportion of like the dough. And it was like mostly all dough. So, oh my God, I'm the best. Like these soups are so tiny. Either that or I'm just not as great with my chopsticks. But down at Joe's Shanghai, or Joe's 21 Shanghai, or something like that, they had a couple different names on Google. Um, they do family style seating. And normally I do not care. I mean, because it's a great way to meet new people. I mean, you wouldn't travel internationally. It's a lot of family style seating in a lot of places. You just take a seat and sit down. Only in America is it like, this is my table. Even if I'm like two people at like a tabletop of like 10, like the 10 top. Only in America are people like, you can't sit here. These chairs are ours, even though no one's there. But like, good about everywhere else in the world, you just sit down. So it's not like a huge problem. So this lady came and sat down next to us and our food had just gotten delivered and i was like can we get an extra dish like you know those little ramekins for some soy sauce and he's like it's right here and i'm like that's actually not ours that must have been from people before i didn't pour it i didn't see you guys deliver it so i don't want it i want to have our own fresh poured soy sauce i mean i'm not picky but i kind of i mean i don't know what they were dipping in it i mean I don't want to have some, I don't want to dip my food into something that I know wasn't meant for me, if that makes sense. Like, not that I know what they did with this, but, you know, but if it was somebody else's before and they were sitting there and they were, I don't know, when they're picking their nose or something and then sticking their finger in the soy sauce, like, I don't want to eat that. I don't know. So anyways, this lady sat down next to me. She was rolling her eyes at me because I didn't want that ramekin dish. And I'm like... Like, oh, then you take it. You use your soy sauce for that. You use that as your soy sauce. Like, like okay, like, why are you going to judge me for not wanting somebody's old used soy sauce? Okay. Go on. Anyway, she kept on rolling her eyes the whole night. Or, while we were there, not the whole night, but. And eventually I turned to her because I have a bad attitude sometimes. And I was like, is there a problem? Excuse me, is there a problem? I just noticed that you keep on rolling your eyes at us at like literally everything we do. Because I was having a conversation with my family member who's with me. And then my family member was like, she's still rolling her eyes. She's like turning over and going like that to us. And it's like, we weren't even talking about her. At this point, we we're talking about, I think, about the show Supernatural. Awesome show, by the way. Um, so I just turned around and was like, is there a problem? Her husband's kind of like looking all meek. And I'm like, excuse me, I just don't know if there's a problem. Like she's sitting there rolling her eyes at us. If there's a problem, you could just say something. Like maybe I'd be out, I don't know. And he was like, wait, I'm sorry. We don't she's like, I don't understand. I don't, sp I'm, I'm not listening. And I'm like, so then it became clear that she did not really speak English because when she tried to order, she couldn't even barely order. Try not to be rude or it's a language barrier, but what the heck? How do you sit down next to somebody who's not even like engaging you and just be so bitter and angry that you just have to like roll your eyes all the time? I don't know. It was weird. So, this wasn't the greatest experience because I was hungry. I was hot. This crazy lady is like rolling her eyes at me unnecessarily. I don't want to deal with her tood. Makes my family feel uncomfortable. I just don't have time for that. So, yeah, that's my story about Joe Shanghai. But if you are ever in New York, I highly, highly recommend Kung Fu Kitchen. I tell everybody who comes to you, you have to try it. These are just the pork dumplings. They have pork and crab option also. I just love the fuzzies. Like when we went to Hong Kong for New Year's, we are like, we're gonna make it a mission. We're gonna find the best Xiao Long Bao. Even though I believe it's a Shanghai, more of a Shanghai style street food, but you know, they, they still served it everywhere. It was like in so many restaurants and there was, it was like all over. We found one place that was good. 
they're not the best. If I can remember when I'm editing to find pictures, I'll like just flash a picture on the screen like here or wherever to show you guys what it looks like. Like when we were in Hong Kong trying them. These are so good. Normally, I love coming to New York, but this trip has just been kind of like, mm, I don't know, I think I've been like in a funk lately. Maybe it's Mercury in retrograde. Which is apparently a real thing. Yeah, I only learned about it like a couple years ago. And people are like, oh, must be this. And I'm like, what? what? I'm not like huge into astrology. Although I do believe in the supernatural and psychics and all that. But I guess it generally means, and correct me if I'm wrong, that there's like something in the stars and astrology messes with people's technology. Well, I definitely have really bad luck with that lately, so. And I just technology, like text messages, or how you communicate online, or how you express yourself online. Like, there's just like a lot of, I don't know. So I just been off though, between, where just haven't been feeling like myself. Like, I'm not like depressed or anything, but I guess just been, like between the earthquakes, this crazy guy bossing me around in Vegas and I having like the worst experience of my life in Vegas, which is my other favorite place. I love Vegas. And then the car accident, and then I was sick. I go to the hospital because I thought my appendix was bursting. That wasn't great. And it wasn't my appendix, it was my ovary. So I don't know, I just been a pump. Oh, and then I actually got sick. Like, well, you guys saw that video. I was like actually sick, sick, like with a head cold. I never really get sick. And so, I don't know. So the past month since I got back from Cancun, it's just been like off. And I just haven't felt myself. Then, like, I like making my videos. This has been a really great escape for me. But then, of course, like, my thing's not i can't edit so then i'm like what's the point of even filming so then finally my family's like well you get you find joy in filming so just film 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 good bad or indifferent you don't have to post it but just film so at least if anything you have material so if there's other another time where you can't edit or post at least you'll just have backup videos and I was like, oh, okay good idea so well And last but not least, I have a red bun dessert. All right, I am back with my dessert. I did go warm it up because it was feeling a little cold. It's a red bean bun. I've only tried a couple of their desserts a couple times at the restaurant. The other one was like this rice pudding thing that had like red beans on it and in it and like some gel or something, I don't know. I mean, it was good, but different. Okay, I don't even know how to eat this, so it kind of looks like a nip, hey. Just that's so inappropriate. Okay, ready? I may have warmed it up too much, but it's good. What I really like about like pastries and desserts in general from different countries is that in the United States we're so we have so much sugar. Oh, it's kind of like this to me is barely sweet. But like a really good kind of sweet, like subtle. I wish we were used to eating sugar treats like this all the time, and I just feel like it'd be so much healthier.
Also, I think I'm in love. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. So I've been watching that show Supernatural. There's this actor on it.